gets it, you get all five minutes. So, <laughs> Senator Stubblefield, I'll try. Since you brought up Sharia law, there are a lot of other facets of Sharia law that are just mere. What about the other aspects of Sharia law that would be brought into this, our court system? Well, in the House committee meeting, there was an example of a spouse who took a child and went off to Pakistan. And based upon Sharia law as practice in Pakistan, the spouse in America had absolutely no rights in front of the Pakistani court. Now, I believe that was the example used. That's to the best of my recollection. I'm looking at the, the, the witness. He can certainly say that's incorrect. Um, Frankly, I'm not sure it's simply an anti-Sharia law. It's just an anti-law outside the United States. Well, let's, uh, keep it, let's keep it in context of Sharia law, okay? Okay. Let's just keep it in that context because there's a lot of different facets of Sharia law and I would like to know how, how we're going to defend those here in this country under our Constitution, under the Arkansas Constitution. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not an expert on Sharia law. I have studied religion. Since school. How are these two going to match? You know enough about Sharia law to know that it's, it's very contradictory to our Constitution. How are these two going to go together? I don't expect them to mesh. You don't expect them to mesh? I don't expect them to mesh. How do we adjudicate a case then, wherever there's a, an honor killing or a, a, a man who marries four nine year old girls? How do we, how do we adjudicate them? If that person is, is living in the state of Arkansas, I think we all know that's a violation of United States law. And he's going to be prosecuted under United States law. That's not the intent of this bill. If you're in the United States, you're bound to United States law. Period. If you go outside the country, I think the intent is you're bound by that law in that particular country you're in. And civilized people act that way. There are communities, to my knowledge, of uh, particular faith believers who in their own community will rely upon Hasidic law. I believe that's, at, at one time, that was a system in New York State. And that was bound, I mean, just the people who were in that community were bound to it. Nobody else. So, I don't see a conflict. If you're here in the United States and you create a misdemeanor or a felony, I expect you to be prosecuted. Is the real law being practiced here in the United States? I have no idea, sir. You don't believe it is? I have no evidence on that. That's all I'm up. saying, sir. Actually, we went over, we went over five minutes, so. Thank uh, you. Thank you, and so we have five minutes on the four side, so that includes a closing, I might add. So if you want Representative Smith to either reserve you a minute or so, I'll do that. All right, so 